So here we are just outside the city of Bunbury in a place called Picton at the government owned and run West Rail timber yards. Um, these particular sleepers here all around us come from old forest, not very far from here, old Yarra forest, which is home to many endangered species, particularly the red tail and the white tail cockatoo. Now in 2004 the Labor government told the WA people that railway sleepers wouldn't be sourced from the old forest anymore. Of course this is a furphy because we can see today that these railway sleepers have been freshly cut and have probably come from a forest not very far from here. Well the message is to the WA government, um, why did you lie to the people of WA when you said that sleepers cut from Jarra forest wouldn't be used anymore, when here we have thousands of them? Um, the question too is of David Templeman, the Environment Minister. Is he aware that this scandal is going on, that old forests have been cut down to basically sort of pave the railway lines with railway sleepers when there's alternatives like concrete sleepers? Um, many unanswered questions. It's a tragedy that the WA taxpayer is basically paying for something that could be utilised alternatively, which is concrete. And it's a tragedy also too for the wildlife that depend on these forests as their habitat. These railway sleepers come from rare Wandu forest not very far from here, near Bunbury in Western Australia. The Wandu forest is home to many endangered species. The WA government has told the people of West Australia that no more Jarrah, no more Murray and no more Wandu would be used for railway sleepers. These sleepers have just been freshly cut in a mill and they've been brought here for dispersal possibly exported, we don't know.